Hello guys and welcome to another Dragon Ball Super video and today guys it is a very good day because chapter 58 has just been released. Guys I haven't actually read this chapter yet so this is going to be my first impression and my first read so I just want to get straight into it so let's go. So page one, it seems that the merge fighter that was giving um, Master Roshi and Krillin a hard time, Goku's taken that fighter out and that has caused him to defuse. So as usual, Master Roshi's like, ha, huh, took you long enough to show up. And then Krillin is informing Goku of what has been happening. So basically, Moro has sent some of his fighters around the planet and they have been giving the Z fighters a bit of a hard time. So Krillin isn't really sure, but he wanted to ask Goku whether or not he thinks he can defeat Moro. Goku, as usual, thinks, you know, that's what my training was for. We'll have to wait and see how we go. So basically, Goku is excited, as he always is, for a fight and disappears. He appears right in front of the fighter that's giving Yamcha, Tien, and Chaozu a bit of a hard time. And as expected, with ease, takes him out in one blow. Tien is obviously was having a bit of a problem. Um, they are strong fighters, don't get me wrong, but because Moro shared his power with these henchmen, they are a little bit stronger than anticipated. Goku quickly hands the fighter to Yamcha and disappears again. Now we are here with Android. Wow, okay, so we're here with Android 18 and 17, Gohan and Piccolo. So it looks like they're still having a really hard time with the fighter that we saw in the last chapter. Um, it appears that they are already quite beaten up. And they're going for a dual blast. And it looks like he looks a little bit surprised. Moro is standing there. Looks like the androids can feel the pressure. Oh, okay. So it seems that they're actually right in front of him. And as as we can see, it looks like it wasn't any use. He just punches them away. They're clearly quite injured. And 17 and 18 are obviously doubting if they can handle him. So Jaco, God bless him, is doing his absolute best. And he's just talking shit outside of the fight. Um... It obviously appears that, yeah, like it's just confirmed here that Lord Moro um, is obviously been giving power, so they'll never be able to be caught again. So it appears that these fighters are actually incredibly strong, and the only person that can really take them on at this point, I think, is Goku. And it looks like this guy is a little bit stunned. He's being hit by someone we can't actually see at the moment. I think this might be Goku. I'm not sure why we can't see him drawn yet. And it looks like he's down on the ground. Moro is actually surprised. Gohan thinks it's dad. Why Piccolo can't actually sense his key. And they... Okay, so it looks like Jaco can actually see him. And that is because Jaco has very, very good vision, which was mentioned in the previous chapters. Um, looks like they're saying he's moving a little bit too fast than to lock onto. But Moro is obviously from this little um, bit here. We can see that Moro can see what's going on. Obviously, he's an incredibly powerful being. So he should be able to see who is attacking him. Um, it appears that he knows who it is. It's the one who was using instant teleportation. Um, Goku, yes, he remembers his name. And it appears that Moro is about to intervene, and that is correct. He's just sent his henchmen flying. Um, Goku, finally. So it looks like we're going to have Goku and Moro face off. It looks like Gohan and Piccolo are basically still really confused on what was happening. And Moro has obviously just acknowledged that Goku has grown far stronger. Goku has obviously said, yep, not a problem, and it looks like the fighter has just gotten back up, unfortunately. Gohan and Piccolo quickly retreat. Goku's somewhat surprised, um, and it seems that this fighter still has something left into him. Um, okay, back to the same. It doesn't want to go back to jail. That's cool. It appears that Goku isn't really going to have any of that. Um, and it looks like Goku's going to take him on, which is going to be interesting again. So let's see. Obviously, Gohan has just said, I'm sorry for not being able to protect the Earth. But look, it's really sad that Gohan doesn't get more time and more character development. But hopefully, maybe moving forward, we will see some more out of him. Looks like Goku's going to stay in his... No, he's going to actually transform. Looks like he's gone Super Saiyan Blue from the artwork and from Moro's... Um, what he can sort of see that we can't in color. It looks like 
Goku is having no problem blocking this guy's attacks. And with ease, like I would suspect, he's just punched him in the side and thrown him away. Looks like the other guy's trying to fight back against Goku, but Goku is just way too strong. He's way too far ahead at the moment. And looks like they've also acknowledged that Goku in his Super Saiyan Blue form is far stronger than what they do. Remember the last time they were here? Um, this guy still doesn't want to go down, okay? So, another power boost. Looks like Moro is going to give him a bit more power, so he's obviously going to make him a lot stronger. Goku seems surprised, although I still don't think he's going to have a problem. you got to stop pumping him with energy. Moro's his body has hit its limit, which I think is true as well. You can see how badly he's beaten up in that bottom left square. It looks like Goku is still just having none of what this guy is serving. He's way too strong, blocking all the moves, and he's just taking him out. Now, here's a little interesting bit. Looks like Moro is talking about a, f a form that he employed to use the high-speed moves that we saw in the previous slide. Um, interesting. So, it looks like Moro is asking him to bring this form out. This might be what I think it is, and I talked about this in my prediction video, which I can link below. But let's see what happens. It looks like Moro is giving him more power. This guy's this guy is at his limit, and he's obviously done. Goku's going for Moro, but Moro... As he is incredibly strong, looks like with ease, he's just blocked the move. Enough. I'll show you what you want to see up close. Okay, cool. It looks like we're going to see what's happening. And this guy is done. He is gone. So, now, let's see what's going to happen. So, they're having a bit of a tussle about um, he wasn't his friend. It's just a henchman, just a soldier. Now we're going to see what's happening. So it looks like Goku's ready to show what kind of power he's got. And drum roll, it is Ultra Instinct, as I suspected. So it looks like the training with mirrors paid off in the time chamber environment. Goku is now able to control the Ultra Instinct technique. However, it doesn't appear that he has mastered it yet. I think this is only the beginning. He can probably only dodge and attack at this point. Um, it'd be interesting to see what the next step was, but guys, this is really, really cool. This is what I thought would have happened with Goku, to be honest. Um, there wasn't really another way for him to, I guess, take on Moro. I mean, Ultra Instinct itself is a huge boost um, in terms of power and ability. So guys, this is really interesting. So now, what I'm keen to see is what is Vegeta going to come up to or come up with um, when he faces Moro. So right now, as it stands, looking at this, Goku is a mile ahead of Vegeta. And not just in terms of power, but just this ability and technique alone puts him a step ahead. So we saw that Vegeta was obviously training on planet Yardrat. He has a more refined spirit. So what I think is going to happen is let's see how this fight goes out, but I don't think the Ultra Instinct technique is going to be the reason why he defeats Moro or they actually beat Moro, I think it's going to be more of a combined effort. So guys, thanks for reading and thanks for watching with me. This has been really, really cool to watch and it's been really fun to know that what I predicted in my video actually came true. The next episode, which is chapter 59, is going to come out next month on April 20 from the bottom left. What I'll do is I will have a bit of a think on what I believe might happen in chapter 59. I will do another prediction video um, and I'll bring up some theories on what might happen moving forward. But guys, this is really cool. So until next time and until my next prediction video, guys, look after yourselves and I'll see you then.